What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So imagine for a minute that you work for a designer. You get an assignment where you're gonna be looking at possibly putting a building on a site in a downtown area or something like that. So we're gonna look at an extension that can make this process significantly faster. But first, let's take a look at the way that you might do this if you didn't have an extension to help you. But say that you had a parking lot right here that was going to get scraped and a new building was going to go in that location. So what you might do with the built-in SketchUp tools is you might go find that location with the add location function. And so um, the first thing you might do is you might bring that in using the add location function like this. So if you click on select region, we use the digital globe data and bring this in. So now you've got your location. But what you have to start doing is you have to start modeling out the different roads and other things like that so that you can start getting this geographical context in the area. So what you might do is you might start coming in here and just tracing along the roads inside of SketchUp in order to get roads into your scene. So even just coming around this corner and just modeling this area like this can be really time consuming, right? So let's say we were to model out this whole area like this. You go ahead and delete that face for a minute, but then you have to come in here and you have to start modeling the other roads as well. So you have to model the locations. Things start jumping around on surfaces. And all the while, all you really want is just some context so that you can see what's around this. You don't want to be modeling roads around the area. So this can be really frustrating because even if you get the roads built, so let's say we were to model them, like this. So you finally got a road created. You can start adding colors and other things like that. But you really don't have a whole lot of work done and there's a whole lot of work left to do, especially if you wanted these taller buildings or anything like that. You might come in here from a top down view and use the rectangle tool to start blocking out some of these buildings, but even that doesn't really give you an accurate picture of what this looks like. And so luckily there's a SketchUp extension that makes this a lot easier. So instead of coming in here and modeling all of this manually, you can just use the tool Placemaker from Mindsight Studios. So Placemaker is a tool specifically designed for helping you create cities inside of SketchUp. With Placemaker, all you would have to do is you would just have to go find a location So with Placemaker, all you have to do is select your area and select the context that you wanna bring in, click on the button to import the area, and this'll bring that in. However, this is where your experience starts being different from SketchUp itself. And the reason for that is because you've got these other tools in here to import things like roads and paths and buildings. So what we can do is we can activate the roads function and we can select the surface and click on the button to import roads. And what that's gonna do is that's actually gonna build the roads based on map data directly inside of SketchUp. So now you have your roads. Notice how those are placed geographically accurately. So not only can you use this to bring in the roads, you can also use this to bring in your paths. So if I was to click on paths, then that is going to bring in your sidewalks. But we still don't have any buildings. Well, we want these buildings in here um, in order to give us that visual context of everything around our area. So what we could do in order to do that is just go to this buildings tab right here and import buildings. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna use geographical data in order to actually build all of the buildings around this site visually so that you can actually see them. And so notice how this will give you a preview of the geometry that's going to be created so that you can look at it. Then when you're done, we're just gonna confirm this order. We're gonna bring this in, and this is actually going to generate these buildings in 3D on your site. So it's actually gonna bring in all of this geometry so that you can use that in order to see what's around this area. So now we have built in actual building context for the area so you can get a feel for how this is going to fit in with the buildings around it. So then 
if you wanted to, you don't have to do this, but you definitely can. So first off, you can bring in your water bodies and your tree data. Um, so that'll actually bring in like rivers and other things like that. But you can also, if you wanna hide all of this, so we could turn all these buildings off. So they're gonna be on their own tags. And so let's say you wanted some better data for this area right here. Well, all you would have to do is just draw a box around the area. We're gonna make this a group then we're gonna click on the button to import imagery. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna import images based on this location right here. So you can see how right now we're using the highest resolution, highest zoom tiles. And we're gonna go ahead and click on the button for confirm order right here. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring this data in here and you're actually gonna have high resolution site data in this location. And so now if we toggle the overall map off, you can see how this gives us very high resolution, very easy to work with data in this location. So now you can see exactly where the sidewalks are. You can see exactly where, um, where the landscaping is, other things like that. So you can get in here and you can really do a detailed model of this location using this placemaker imagery. And so now if we look at this, we have detailed buildings in the background, we have all the roads around this location. We have all the sidewalks and we have a high resolution map that we can then draw over in order to um, create a really detailed model of our location. So this tool could be an absolute lifesaver if you have to do any kind of modeling like we talked about in this video. I will link to it in the notes down below as well as some other placemaker tutorials. But I'd love to hear from you what you think about this extension in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.